Hello, my name is Chris Hammond. I'm the director of training here with .NET New Corporation. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use the portal template features built into .NET Nuke to export a portal from one instance of .NET Nuke and then to utilize that portal in another instance. Now, in order to do this, we're going to need a few things. We need to log into the portals as the host or the super user account. On both websites or both installs of .NET Nuke, we're going to need to have the same modules already installed. And then those modules must support iPortable if you want .NET Nuke to be able to utilize the export content feature. So iPortable is a, an interface that module developers can utilize to import and export content. So we'll walk through the steps of actually exporting the portal. Then we're going to have to copy the contents of that portal, the exported template, from one .NET Nuke install to another. Now I'm actually going to be running .NET Nuke in Web Matrix, and I have two different instances of .NET Nuke running, so we'll switch back and forth between the two in order to do this. So we'll switch over to the machine now here that's running .NET Nuke. It's currently running .NET Nuke version, I think, 5.6.1. might be 5.6.2, but we'll double check. Uh, we're going to go ahead and log into this first website as the host or the super user account. Now this is a very basic website. It has a page called home and it has a page called articles. And I believe it also has a page called razor that we'll see once we get logged in. So we'll log in with this super user account and we should see the menu show up now. And you can see we have a third page here as well. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the host, host settings page just to double check the version of .NET Nuke. So we can see here that the version is 5.6.2. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to the host and the portals page. From the portals page, we can choose the portal that we were utilizing. And I can see I have one portal here. I'm going to go ahead and export that portal as a template. So there's an export portal template option here or from within the actions menu. I'm going to choose that website and I'm going to go ahead and give it a, a name for the template. And I'm going to be original, we'll just call it template one and give it a description. Now, when we're exporting a portal, we can choose to include the content. Like I said, that's going to include the content for any modules that support iPortable. And we can go ahead and click on export template. Now that's going to go out and create our portal template. Now we're going to have to find that on our file system in order to get it from one .NET Nuke installation to another. Now where that gets created is .NET Nuke puts it into the portals underscore default folder and then the file name that we created. So it's template1.template. Now if we go ahead and go to our file system, I'm going to pull up the file system here and access the file system for that first portal or that first install of .NET Nuke. And I'm going to go into portals, I'm going to go into underscore default, and I should see a template one dot template file. Now there is also a template one dot resources file. We need both of those. The resources file is actually a zip file of a variety of contents of that particular portal. Basically the contents of the portals zero folder, the root folder. So I'm going to copy both of those files. Now I'm going to go back over to the other portal, the other instance of .NET Nuke, which happens to be running in a different folder. And I'm going to go into the portals underscore default and paste the template and the resources file that we just copied from that initial portal. Now I need to go ahead and in web matrix, I need to switch between the two websites. So it's going to take a moment to do and I'll, I'll pause the recording while that process occurs because it, I believe web matrix can only run one website at a time. So this additional site will start up and it looks like it already has. We get a message down at the bottom. So I go ahead and click on the URL there, should take me in Internet Explorer to a new window, which will pull up the other instance of .NET Nuke. Now, in order to utilize the portal template in this instance, I need to get logged into that website. And I'm going to once again log in as a host or a super user account. Now, this particular site is also .NET Nuke Community Edition. It doesn't have as much content. It does have a login page that we created in a previous video. Let's just double check which version of .NET Nuke we're on. 
we want to make sure that we're upgrading, uh, sorry, we're on the same version of .nuk that the portal template was created from. And this one is currently not. So I'm going to pause the recording. I'm going to upgrade this version of .nuk real quick, and then I'll start the recording again. So I've gone ahead and upgraded .NET Nuke. We're going to go to the host settings page here and just double check. We should be running 5.6.2 now. Now I'm currently running on .NET Framework 3.5 and because the previous site was on .NET 4, I need to go ahead and make that change. I also need to install the host, uh, or, sorry, the Razor host module and the DNN simple article module in order to use that template. So I'm going to pause the recording and get both of those modules installed and then we'll come back. All right, so now that I have the Razor host module and the DNN simple article module both installed, I can check that by looking at the host extensions page. I'm going to go ahead and navigate to either the host portals page if I want to create a new portal, or if I'd like to go ahead and apply the, the template to the existing portal, we can use the admin site wizard. And since this particular portal is pretty empty at this point, just has a home page and a custom login page. I'm going to go ahead and use that option. So I'm going to go to the admin site wizard and that's going to allow me to select that portal that we copied from the other instance of .NET Nuke. So we're going to use the site wizard and step through the process clicking on next. We're going to go ahead and check the box to build your website from a template below. We're going to choose that template that we imported called template one. Now it does tell us that there are a couple of other modules on the, the particular portal that are not installed. Announcements, blog, and form and list. So the so Dotnanuk's telling us which modules we need. So real quickly I'll pause the recording and correct that and then we'll come back and do the recording again. So I've gone ahead and installed those three modules. I've gone back to the site wizard page. I'm going to go ahead and step through this process again, checking the box, choosing template one. And this time around we get the description, but we don't have any messages that we're missing modules like we did before. So we should be able to go through and apply it. Now, when we go to install or apply this template to the existing site, we get the option of how to handle modules that are already on our site. Do you want to ignore the ones that are already there? Do you want to replace them or do we want to merge? For now, since this site was pretty empty to begin with, we're just going to go ahead and choose the replace option. At this point, we can go ahead and click on next. Now the wizard itself will allow us to choose a skin. You know, I didn't have a skin defined outside of the standard skin in .nuke, so it wasn't included within the template. I'm going to go ahead and choose the minimal XP index skin, which is that default skin for .NET Nuke. Go ahead and choose next. And same thing with our containers. We get to choose the default container. And I'll go ahead and choose minimal XP title gray. Click on next. And if we'd like, we can go ahead and redefine the title, descriptions, and keywords for the portal. We can do that at any point in time as well by going to the site settings. And if we go ahead and click on finish, this is going to then finish off the site wizard and apply that particular template to this .NET Nuke installation. So now that this is complete, let's go ahead and navigate back to the home page. And as we do so, we see that our home page content has changed. It now matches the content from that previous .NET Nuke installation. We have an articles page. If we go to that articles page, we can see that the articles page has an HTML module with some instructions on top and two articles included. And then the Razor page has the Razor host module on it. Now the Razor host module had an issue with the export, so it's possible that the actually the, uh, the sorry the problem is a, a bug actually in the Razor host module. The user list uh, .cshtml file has a missing semicolon in it, and uh, I believe it's been fixed in the latest release. Um, but you can go ahead and manually fix that, and we do that in another video. So we've gone through, we've taken that portal from a different .NET Nuke installation. We created a template out of it. We copied that template from one installation to another, and then we applied that template to that existing installation. Now we just as easily could have created a totally new portal instead of applying it to an existing one as well. 
I'd encourage you to check out some of our .NET Nuke training. You can find it under the resources tab on .NET Nuke.com. There you'll find a variety of free videos, as well as information about our instructor-led training and our custom on-site and online training offerings. Again, this is Chris Hammond with .NET Nuke Corporation. Thanks for watching the video.